Now I'm going to show you how to add and manage your vehicles in Avatar. So first of all, when adding vehicles, what you want to do is first configure your types, models, and different makes of your vehicles. To do so, go to the administration section. Here, you can see under vehicle configuration, the subheadings makes models and types. So first of all, the most general category is types, which is what we're going to want to first edit. Here you can see all existing vehicle types that you may have. Then you can add another vehicle type. For instance, we can say sports car. Sample, Ferrari, seeds, two. And you can insert any other details you may have. And simply click Save Changes. Then you can insert your vehicle makes, which are the different brands of vehicles. Finally, you can insert your vehicle model, which first you have to select a vehicle make and simply input the model name. After configuring all of these for all your different types, models, and makes of vehicles, you can add new vehicles from the vehicle page. Here, you can insert your vehicle number, VIN number, license number, make, model, type, year, and status, fuel type, and transmission. Here, you can see the active is online and is sale checkboxes. Active means whether your vehicle can be currently rented is online is whether you want your vehicle to be used by our reservation module on your website. Another very important feature that you must input is tank size. This is the value of how many gallons or liters your vehicle can hold. This will be used to make calculations for your vehicle when the vehicle is checked out and returned so that customers can pay for the difference in gas. Here you can input an image of your vehicle by simply clicking add image and choosing a file. Then you can go to technical details where you can input facts such as the number of doors, the battery level and fuel level. Then under license and insurance you can input which insurance company your vehicle is insured under in which license state. Then you can input your ownership of the vehicle or whether you're currently leasing it and the payments and values related to such. Then you can go to other vehicle options such as which further peripherals are available with your vehicle such as GPS and Wi-Fi. Then you can add any other information you deem necessary. After all of this, simply click save and your vehicle will be added to your vehicle information. Then to manage your vehicles, simply return back to the vehicle page and you can search for your vehicle using any of these criteria. After simply clicking select on the page, you can see a quick overview of the vehicle itself. You can also see which reservations a vehicle currently has, any damage, track its maintenance, even track where the vehicle is, and any documents that you may have associated with this vehicle. Then under vehicle summary, you can see the revenue, expenses, and profits of your vehicle, which will give you a total view of the profitability of itself. You can easily edit this information by simply clicking the edit button and you'll be brought back to the page we were before. To access your vehicle list, click Reports. Under Reports, click Fleet Summary, and a list of your vehicles will show up based on your search status. Click Search, and all applicable vehicles will be there. You can print these or export them to PDF. for your management purposes. And that is how you add and manage vehicles in the Navitar system.